This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Many of you may know us from our videos in Vietnam, Thailand, and many Asian countries, but you may not know that we're also Canadians. So we're excited to start this new series in our home country, and we're starting off with the most culturally diverse and second largest city in Canada, Montreal. It's long. <laughs> so uh, we're starting our day here in Montreal at one of the most famous bagel shops. What is it called again? Saint Vieter. Saint Vieter. Yeah. So there are two main ones in this area, but there's a Fairmont one. Fairmont, a couple blocks down, but okay. this has a long lineup. So of course we're gonna get in line. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if the other one will have lineup too. But we're gonna try both to see which one is better. So we're not actually from Montreal. Like I grew up in Vancouver and no grew up in Calgary, but we do come to Montreal once a year because we have family here. And this is one of the first things we like to do, which is bagel hopping in this area called Mile End. And from our previous experience, I think we like different bagels from the different shops, but we don't remember yeah, which, which ones. One. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll remind ourselves today. all hand rolled and also baked in the wood fire oven just over here and you can see them basically pulling the bagels out of the oven right into the basket and right into your paper bag to take home pretty cool hey sesame one sesame and one cinnamon raisin yeah it's 360 please i went with cinnamon raisin i always like it but your sesame bagel is so nice and hot oh wow and of course, I got a little original Philadelphia cream cheese on the side. Let's go find a spot to enjoy this. Maybe down there? Okay. Okay. I've been Here's waiting for this. <laughs> Oh, it smells so fresh. <sighs> Cheers. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Oh my god. Look at the amount of sesame seed they gave you. Sesame seed wins. Mm. Oh, I was going to ask you how much were they? The sesame and the plain and the poppy seed are a dollar twenty each, but the cinnamon raisin one, this one is a dollar forty. That's I'm not bad. That's not bad, but I'm sure they were like ten cents, twenty cents when they first started. You know, this is now probably expensive. You have enough room for another one? Yes, but this <laughs> is what happens when you eat a sesame bagel. What a mess! I think that's why there's pigeons around. Yeah, they eat the sesame. Feed them to the pigeons yeah. over here. Oh, he's coming. Pay it forward. <laughs> How would you rate the Saint Viator bagel? It was pretty good. I'll give it a nine. <gasps> I actually think the same. I feel like that was a nine out of ten. So I don't know. How can well that would end up being a ten out of ten? That's why I said nine because there's still room, room to be for 10. improvement. <laughs> yeah. But while we were eating our bagel on that side street there, some guy did come over to us and said, which one are you going to tell the world is the best bagel in Montreal? And we asked him like, which one is your favorite? And he said, Fairmount. So I'm excited to try <laughs> Fairmount. Maybe it's going to be a 10 out of 10. Don't you miss this? Canada in the summer is so beautiful. Yeah. 
We're actually back in Canada because we have a friend getting married in Calgary mm -hmm. in the summer and it's a really good time for us to come back because if he had his wedding in winter I might most, be like most likely we'll be like more busy. <laughs> We've actually not been back for close to five years. Mm -hmm. We've been living in Thailand, in Chiang Mai, in Gosamoy. Traveling, traveling in Asia. And I think before there was a sense of being afraid to come back to Canada, at least for me, because that might mean that we have failed to live abroad, failed to uh, finance mm. ourselves, and then we have to come back and get a job again. So coming back this time with having like us doing YouTube full time and being able to film and explore our country, it feels really good. From what I know of this area, Mile End is more of a artsy, laid-back kind of neighborhood in Montreal. You'll also notice that there is a lot of older houses here that are two-story. So there's a house at the bottom, a house in the top, and there's an outside staircase for the upstairs unit. So this is quite signature for Montreal and some of our family members used to live in those older houses when they were young and they said that every single one of them would slide right off those staircases in winter because Montreal gets like really slushy, <laughs> gross snow when it's in the winter. Is it really a lineup? Oh my goodness! <laughs> the lineup is even longer at Fairmount than King Vieter. Look at this! You see over there? It says that it started from 1950. What's the first bagel shop in Montreal? This one is? The first one. Oh! The original. So do you think majority of people in Montreal prefer this one or the other one? I saw a survey that most people like Saint-Viatan better. Oh. And I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's because they do like the, the sandwich with the smoked salmon. Right. Ah, right. Okay. That's a yatar. Here it's just like bagels. Like just plain. Just yeah, plain exactly. bagel. Okay. To be fair, this lineup is longer than Saint Viator. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you have to know that Saint Viator, they have four stores. Oh, oh. and then? In the city. This is just one. Oh, that's, that's why. why. Oh, wow, that's why. okay. <laughs> Got us hyped up now. <laughs> Let me see. Uh, smells the same as the other one. <laughs> size, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, um, a yeah. Bit bigger, right? bigger, yeah. yeah. The hole is bigger. <laughs> she can be honest. She can be honest. <laughs> I think I like the other one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> It's okay. It's still really good though. It's still an 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Bye bye. Is this gelato? Yes. Sorbet? It is. Well, I did have this one is gelato, like um, ice cream, and this one is sorbet. What flavor did you get? Orange passion, and this one is masala chai. Nice. So this is the small cup. Oh wow! And it was five dollars. Five dollars. Honestly, I'm not used to the prices here yet. Since we come back. We get this reverse culture shock because we spent the last five years in Thailand and yeah. Southeast Asia and everything was so cheap. But five dollars. Well it's not just the price cream. here though. It's like you have the price and then you have the taxes. Yeah. The provincial tax, the federal tax, and then you have to tip. Mm -hmm. Like this place didn't have to tip, but then you have to tip. So never everything is just a lot more expensive than we expect. Real quick, we just wanted to say a big thank you to our longtime partner Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can easily build a website for your blog or small business 
and you can save a lot of time by using one of their award-winning templates. With customizable pages and plenty of fonts and color palettes to choose from, you can make a website faster than you think. We also love using the Squarespace app to make small changes on the go. Just head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash flora and note to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's get back to the video. So right now we are walking towards the metro station because we want to go to the old Montreal area. There are many ways to get there. <laughs> Easiest is Uber or you even see a lot of those fixy bike stops. So what you do is like you pay to rent and it charges you per minute and that's why there's a lot of like bike lanes and lots mm -hmm. of bicycles. Montreal is a very very bike friendly city. But it's only around a 10 minute walk to the closest metro station so I think we are gonna do that since it is a beautiful day I have a question for you mm -hmm. you don't speak any French at all zero French so do you find it intimidating to be in a French speaking province not really the thing is everyone here speaks English majority of them yeah. and the finest is in English well, that's no. actually French. <laughs> that's French. <laughs> I'm talking about the word metro. <laughs> <laughs> but there's an accent on it, so it's the metro. <laughs> oh, true, true. So what's interesting is that Montreal is a majority French-speaking mm -hmm. city. So mostly francophones, which means their first language is French, versus anglophones, which is the first language it's English. is English. But yeah, most people are bilingual. But didn't you study French in school? I did. So I've been studying French since I was in grade 4 for about 7 or 8 years. So I can kind of read French still, but I haven't practiced my French for years. So I, ha I don't think I can hold a conversation with anyone, but I can kind of recognize some of the terms. Mm -hmm. So that's why I was wondering, like I can kind of understand people, like how do you feel when you don't understand zero? Because you came to Canada later then. Yeah. Have you taken a metro in Canada before? I don't think so. To be honest, we usually drive when we were growing up like in Calgary and in Vancouver. So I don't think we take much public transportation. Mm -hmm. Wow, I haven't used Canadian coins in so long. <laughs> this is a toonie. So this is a loony. <laughs> and you're also a loony. <laughs> And then I'm like, wait, is it the right one? I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is a coffee shop. Yeah. <laughs> My goodness. Look at the ceiling. So we're not quite in old Montreal yet. We're just making a quick stop here at this really unique coffee shop called Crew Collective. It is in an old, old building. This building is built in the 1920s. It used to be the Royal Bank of Canada and they have preserved a lot of the architecture in here. So what's interesting about this building is that the coffee shop part is here but all of that on the other side, which is bigger than the coffee shop, is the co-working area. So there's like people working there, computers, desks. I think you can also hire like meeting rooms. Pretty interesting. Thank Here's you. Your coffee. There's a long lineup for coffee. How much is it? It's. I think yours is three fifty. Mine is three seventy five. But it's um. I guess Consider it's, the place. That's not bad at all. Yeah, it's like specialty coffee, right? It's not just like cheap coffee, like to me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna cause a lot of uh, problem in the comment Which section. We love, and everyone who watches our channel knows we love Timmy's, but this should be special. This part 
of town is so beautiful. This is like a old financial district. Like yeah. all these beautiful buildings are mostly banks and was that the Canada Bank of Commerce and old hotels. Hundreds of hundreds of years old. Like Canada. This feels like we're Europe? in Europe. Yeah. This is the Notre Dame de Basilica, which is a huge church here in old Montreal. It dates back to the 1800s. And what is really interesting is that even though it's like a really old building and a religious place, they hold service, like mass, but they also host concerts. Mm. Not like crazy concerts, rock concerts, but like artsy kind of concerts. And Montreal certainly has a vibe because you can see people from all different cultures hanging out here. And it really is what Canada is like, super multicultural, which is awesome. This whole area is a vibe. <laughs> There's street performers everywhere. There's one here. And it's just so good to see all the people coming out here enjoying a beautiful weather listening to the street performer. Looks like there's some kind of festival going on here. Everyone's heading towards that direction. We should go check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, there is a Ferris wheel yeah. over there. Oh, and if you look in the distance, you can see the top of the... The biosphere, biodome. Yeah, yeah. Looks nice. There seems to be far. so many things happening along this area, which is called the Old, Old Port. Port. I think we should rent one of those bikes. Which one? <laughs> you and I can sit together. <laughs> I saw a bunch of people uh, renting them and they look pretty cool. Look. Should we get Let's up? check how much it is. Okay. Um, so how much is it? It's $30 for 30 minutes. Okay, no, we're not renting it. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're cheap. Let's walk. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good with walking. <laughs> is also known as the city of festivals they are famous for their jazz festival just for laughs festival which we also went to see a show last week but today we're here at a different festival a lesser known one we are at the poutine fest <laughs> So what should we eat here? Uh, probably poutine. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it can't get more Canadian than this. There's like fresh lemonade, poutine, micro like brewery. So there's a craft beer. Yeah. Oh, duck poutine sounds good. Let's go with duck poutine. Look at this. Let's find a place to eat. Nice fresh lemonade to go with the poutine. Very nice. Guess how much it is? Five dollars. Seven dollars! <laughs> Seven dollars for this. <laughs> Must be really delicious. Then I have a surprise for you. I got the duck poutine. Oh, that looks delicious. Guess how much? Fifteen dollars. <laughs> Twenty-five dollars. Twenty-five bucks! <laughs> I think plus tax and tip was $29. Oh really? Oh my goodness. I feel like the cost of living is definitely a bit higher. Like there's a little bit of inflation yeah. since we've been here, like which was five years ago. But it's gonna be delicious. I mean, I'd rather spend $30 on this than $30 on the bicycle, right? <laughs> At least I can eat this. For those who don't know what a poutine is, it is basically french fries with gravy and cheese curds. It has to be cheese curds. It can't be melted cheese or anything like that. Cheese curds. 
And this one is special because it also has confit duck and green onion, onion rings, and this garlic sauce on top. This is definitely like a level up poutine. I think someone else wants a bite. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. Mm, right? <laughs> That's delicious. How does it feel like to be back in Canada after five years? It feels like we're back home again. We settled right in. Canada was our home five years ago. Mm -hmm. Now that we're here, it also feels like home. It's weird because when we live in Thailand, Thailand feels like home. So I'm surprised that I feel the same, that we just fit right in. Maybe it's not a place. Maybe it's because we're together. Oh my god. Home is where your heart is, right? <laughs> he just vomited that word. <laughs> <laughs> and I just realized that I enjoy the space we have. In Canada. Yes, yes. You have so much space to just be, you know, be yourself and do your own thing and it's quite lovely, especially in the summer when everyone wants to be outside. So I think Montreal specifically has been a great place to enjoy a summer and we're excited to show you different parts of Canada during our Canada summer series. Thanks again for watching and as always have a wonderful day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye bye! We are no longer in Montreal. We made our way here to a small coastal town called Matan. Wow! Ah, that is a big one! Are there bears in here? There's plenty of bears? I'm safe, right? Yeah. It's always nice being back to see mom, to see the family. That's what we